Hi friends. Um, today I'm going to sit down and plan out the next week, get it ready at least in my traveler's notebook system. Kind of wanted to chit chat with you about what's going on there. Um, so this is what I usually sit down with to plan my week. This is from Portland Leather Goods in their cold brew color. And really I've only been using this yellow mild liner and my ruler from the planner spot. And then these are just sort of extra things. I could probably clean a bunch of those out. Um, I will say typically I do this in the evening just sitting in my recliner in the family room um, as my family watches TV or chit chats. So um, I'm not used to really having it on my desk, which is one of the reasons that I love the Traveler's Notebook versus like a ring bound system. Now that I have used a Traveler's Notebook for years, I can't really go back to rings just because they get in the way when I write. And then I want to take the inserts out. And a lot of times, as I said, I'm not sitting at a desk to be able to do that. And it's just more of a hassle. So let's go ahead and look at some of the inserts and kind of go through my weekly planning process. So up front, I do usually check my school calendar. All the inserts in here are from Crefective Paper, except for like one or two, which I'll try to link below for you. This one is from Crefective Paper. I use the Planner Kate um, Plum Modern Transparent Circles to mark things off, including when I'm sick or my son is sick and I have to take time off of work. Kind of helps keep track of my time off balance. An X is a snow day and so I put these little marks down here in May. We've used one of five snow days so we'll have to make up um, an extra day of school. So this proposed date here on the 18th and 19th of May is going to be shifted over. But I do live in Illinois so it is February and we could have plenty of snow days clear into March. Um, but I don't need to do anything specific with that for next week. Next week is the week of, um, let's see here, February 20th. Yeah, so we don't have school on Monday. This next set, I really do need to sit down and update and I need to grab my Zig Clean Color Dot Markers. I'll be right back. So what I decided to do on this, this is the bucket list from Perfective Paper. I started filling out, um, there's a hundred spots. So the back of that insert is back here, the second half, so 37 through 100. But I decided I would use my Zig Clean Color Dot Markers to mark off um, when things are completed. And I thought it would be cool to look back and have a color per month. So I grabbed my yellow um, clean dot marker for January. And if I did any of these things in January, I'm going to mark them off. So let's just go through and see. So I did buy new curtains for my family room. That was number eight. Did that in January. Also got new furniture um, for the family room. That was number 10. We did go to the Effingham Performance Center. That's number 14. And I guess if we've already done them, I might also mark them off here. That way I can see that they're done and I won't have to keep looking back through those items on the list. Okay, so that was January. And then let me go through and mark off February items. That again is a clean color dot marker. You can get these on jet pens or on Amazon. And I did do a few of these in February as well. So basketball was finished up. That is number 20. 
We had a sorority social. That's number 26. And I bought some new house plants. Number 29. And that's all so far for February. So I'll just keep marking those off. And then obviously I need to fill out that second half um, of items we want to do or trips or whatever. It can be anything on the bucket list. And that's the 100 bucket list from Crefective Paper. So for January, this was my month at a glance. Again, from Crefective Paper, this is gratitude. These were things that I wanted to get done. And then these were things I wanted to do every day, but I'm kind of tracking that somewhere else now. So you'll see here in February, I don't have anything designated for that spot yet. Um, I have my bucket list going here and gratitude. So nothing to update there, I'm up to date. I usually do that in the evening for my gratitude. Have my husband's on call, work, vacation, bowling schedule on another one of these Crefective Paper yearly inserts. So we'll just check. Um, he is on call on the weekend of this week here. So I'll need to remember that when I go to plan my um, week out. So this insert here again is from Crefective Paper and then I have my weekly insert and I have those clipped off with an Ollie clip. So we have February here, everything that's color coded with those plum paper stickers from Planner Kate. Everything coordinates so my husband was on call there and I need to update that he was is going to be on call here too as well. So I might as well get those out. Those stickers I keep up here in my front pocket. I do have my tweezers. I like to use those for these teeny tiny stickers. And this teal color is for my husband's on call. And the placement of the sticker, the location matters also. I put his on the month view on this right hand side. The middle would be for my son and the left would be for myself. But right now I'm only marking my husband's stuff. So that will happen Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. It's kind of waiting because a lot of times, as you saw on that yearly calendar, I have his on-call schedule ahead of time, but then he ends up switching with some of his friends or whatever when things come up. So at work, they kind of shift around sometimes. So we got that marked on my monthly. I don't think I need to do anything else there. And then this is where a lot of my planning happens. This is in the weekly insert week on two pages from Crefective Paper. And I typically mark off up here on this mini calendar the days after they happen. I use my Uniball Signo 0.38 retractable. Have my running to-do list, so let me just See, I, I did this. I already got my Imatrex, so that's up to date. I want to make sure all of this stuff is up to date before I plan out next week. You can also update my tracker here. So we did a couple of those items. Did not do well on the Planner Kate Challenge this week. I need to go back through. I'll sit down with my iPhone and go through my uh, Apple Watch data. I've been, been keeping track of my high and low heart rate for medical purposes. And then I did wanna point out one of the reasons that I love this insert is that you have this space over here for appointments. And then I use this section for to-do items that correspond to that day. So anything I put here has to be done on that day, or I would like it to be at least. So this would be for Thursday, this little section for Friday and so on. So I have also been marking off my time specific items. That way, if I have a question about if that actually happened, 
looking back on anything, um, I know. So we did go to my son's game on Saturday. I did take tickets. We did go out to Fujiyama. I did go to group and to church on Sunday. And now we are ready to plan out next week. So for this part, because I'm using my ruler to make all of these um, tracker and sections, I do usually remove it from um, the notebook and then I put it back in and then I'm good to go for the week. So let's move this off to the side and see where we're at. So you can tell I did, when something comes up, I don't, I don't wait um, for the week to plan in this specific system, which is what I love about it. So I already knew these things were happening. Um, you know, someone texted me or we got a message through the school communication app and I put those things down, like wearing black for my boss's birthday. So all of those things are, are already down. I have a few other things down, you know, as soon as I know that's where they go. Um, so I don't forget them, but I do want to get the skeleton set up for the week. So what I do first is my tracker and it looks like I go down one, two, three, four, five, six boxes. And I like them to be the same. So that's what I do every week. Actually, let me look back at this. Two boxes over. So two over from this bold line. And then I think it's not so much pressure normally when I'm, I'm not on camera. So go over two and then down one, two, three, four, five, six. And put that line. I might have to turn this page a little bit. I think typically it's sideways like this when I draw my graphs in. Just use my ruler and draw in a line that way and then we will do the same habits which are kitchen let's see here kitchen make beds journal And I've been liking my tracker this way. Um, it seems like some of the other trackers that you have the days of the week across the top, but with the spacing for how things are working out, I've kind of been liking this one. So then we'll do, um, let's see, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. I do an R for Thursday. You'll have to let me know. If you do as well, it's something that started in college. If you have Monday, Wednesday, Friday classes on your schedule, those are MWF. And then if you have Tuesday, Thursday, they usually just do T and R. And obviously you can't use T and T because, you know, they're the same. So I've always done an R for Thursday. I know several people out there do, but a lot of people say, why do you put an R for Thursday? And that would be why. And then we're going to skip two lines and go down to make the next tracker. And you can tell also as I'm doing this that I do not bind or staple my inserts. They're just loose. And then the elastic in the Traveler's Notebook actually holds them in place. So I do get questions about that as well. And this is my planner cape section, I believe. Yeah, so I'll go back through and fill in the planner cape challenges for the week on that. And 
then my next section, I'll do the same thing, only with a high and low. So I skip two boxes again. Actually, do I do three so that the top... Yep, I thought so. I like everything to be evenly spaced. So skip three. split this in half and the reason I like this ruler too is that it is clear so I can see through what's underneath for the most part that lines a little crooked but that's okay do high and low and then the bottom is my zone cleaning so this was zone two this week we will be on zone three so we're gonna skip two lines and do zone three and I'm not going to write them in but I'll go assess the situation so to speak zone three is bathrooms and see what I need to do there that's like a whole nother video in and of itself is zone cleaning okay so I have my tracker set up for the week and then we can go over here to the sidebar so I usually do my content here for YouTube it's not really a focus on section but I don't want to white it out or put a sticker on it so I just kind of know in my brain what it's for and then I typically do Monday and Thursday videos and then sometimes I'll have a bonus video on the weekend not always so Monday's video is a planner review on the Regolden book. Thursday is a compact vertical plan with me. And then I don't know if this video, if I'll have it up in time for the weekend or it'll be the following week. So I'm not going to assign anything over here yet for the weekend. Kind of see how things play out. And then I'm going to go back through my to do list and see um, what I didn't get done. So I need to wrap up tax info. We always have to pay in, so I don't know why my husband is wanting to get that done so quick, but he's been on me, so we'll get that done before the April deadline. I have some picture frames I want to pick up for my office. I need to schedule my well woman visit. Still and I think that's it that didn't get done, which is pretty good. And then we will look at um, timed specific things that I don't have down for whatever reason. So I do want to make a note that there is no school on Monday and the same sort of situation happens um, here. So no school is teal, which is also my husband's on call color. However, the placement matters here. So to the far right is my husband. I already have his on-call marked on this one. The middle is my son. So I'll put that down. He doesn't have school. And this far left is my stuff. So there I'll know no school on Monday. And then Tuesday for school for work for me, I have to get out our SRSS screener it's just a data collection tool, but I really want to get it out on Tuesday right away. That's why I put it in this section. Um, this kind of reminded me of my traveler's company insert where you have a horizontal on the left and graph on the right. However, um, just some differences that made me want to switch was that this has the already done for you to-do list, um, which I was making on the graph on the Traveler's Company insert. So it was just another thing I had to draw out. I love the mini calendar on this one. The Traveler's Company did have a little calendar at the top. And then 
The Traveler's Company actually had your week number already printed for you, which is kind of how I like to keep track of where we're at in the year. And this is week eight, so I just hand wrote that in. And I also like, obviously, this section kind of reminds me of like a Hobonichi Weeks for me to put my color coordinating stickers. And I also like that this graph section isn't just all open graph, that they do have some of these thicker lines that I don't have to draw in. So I know that this is Monday section and so forth. Okay, on Wednesday, I have a work training that I have to go to now as well. So I'm gonna hand write that in. That's with our school attorney. And I actually really enjoy those. So I'm looking forward to that. And then Thursday morning, we have a school-based counselor meeting for all of our counselors in district. And then Friday morning is problem solving. And that will prompt me since we have those meetings, we usually rotate who's doing snacks and drinks. Meetings are always more fun with snacks and drinks, right? Okay, so that is on Friday. And then I wanted to make a note, um, a cafe here close by is opening. So I might try to stop by before work and get some snacks or drinks for us there. And then Friday, um, at 4.15, my son has a haircut appointment. And I think that's everything for the week. So as far as timed appointments go. And then obviously as the days get closer, if there are to-do items that I need to put down in each of those boxes for the specific day, I can do that, but now the skeleton is done. And typically I would sit down and do another week, so I have a couple weeks out, but I won't make you sit through that drawing all the graphs in again, but you get the idea as far as the process goes. So that goes back in here. Another little tip for Traveler's Notebooks, this is just cardstock that I have around this insert, but now when I take this out, which again, doesn't happen very often, but when I do, I still have this placeholder on here so I don't have to dig down in between all the inserts to find the correct elastic to put this back on. So it's another little trick. And then I need to ollie clip these back. What I usually do because I'm kind of always looking forward is this is February, so I won't clip it closed there. I'll actually clip it onto the next one and then clip this to the current week that I need to be looking at. And that way, this is just really easy. If I sit down, I can go like this and I'm open to my week. If I need to look back at the month, it turns pretty much right to that page. And then the next insert here is my daily planning. So I did use some scrapbook paper from my stash. This is a planner Kate sticker. This is from Coco Daisy. It's just a pretty vellum that I stuck in here as well. And then I have my cleaning tracker for the month. So if you look, I used a highlighter here. Um, it's the first half of the month on the top line and then the second half here on the second line. So kitchens and gray, make beds is the next two white lines. Emails is the two gray. Journal is the white lines. These are my weekly cleaning tasks that I do every single week. And then I numbered these with the week that we're on. 
So this is week eight and this will be week eight here. It's week four of the month, but week eight in the year, if that makes sense. So I need to go back through. I actually did do these items for week seven and now we're ready for week eight. I do have monthly cleaning tasks. I guess I could just pull those real quick. I've been meaning to do that all month long. Those are in my Erin Condren Life Planner in the back, my quarterly tasks broken down by month. So for February, we have a few things that I need to get done. Now, this first one was scheduled, the shampoo, the carpets. I actually did that, I think in December or January. So I'm gonna mark it off because they don't need done. They still look really nice right now. And then I wanna try to get some freezer meals done, which is always nice as we head into the busy warmer season, just to grab something, warm it up and go. I do want to clean my mattress. And we need to go through Tupperware. And that just means matching lids with bottoms and throwing away things that don't match or buying new to replace because they're kind of getting well worn from the microwave or whatever. So a couple things to do there for the month. I printed off one of those and then I went right into printing my daily inserts, which are from Perfective Paper again. So I have an Ollie clip closed for the day. What I've been doing is using this yellow mild liner and I like highlighting the time. So my eye is kind of drawn to that when I open up my planner, but then also, um, like I said, I like marking off if I really did the assigned task or appointment, if I actually showed up and did what I needed to do. So then the second half, I guess the second highlight is on this edge and I kind of tick that off. So 8 a.m. finish files, I did that. 11 o'clock lunch or with a summer ticket order that I had to stop and do. I did that. These were parent teacher conferences. I had one at 3.45, 5.15, and 6.30. Those all happened. And then obviously just a to-do list here or any notes, priorities at the top. I have not been doing the weather, but I might just start highlighting that with my yellow highlighter. So you can see the past few days here, that's how it's been going. I will say I don't feel like I have to fill up this whole page. Um, in the past, I have gotten into kind of my perfectionism. If you struggle with anxiety, you might understand. I want everything to be filled in and complete, but some days that just doesn't happen. So like Monday the 20th, if I have this page blank, I'm trying to be okay with just leaving it blank and moving on to the next day if that's what I need to do. So just just me and my anxiety i know from chatting with some of you that you struggle with anxiety as well um, but if it's not an issue for you you know good good deal <laughs> just skip and go on or if you really like having your pages filled out um, obviously that's totally awesome too so just do whatever works for you but that's been kind of where i'm at with my daily pages and these, again, if I didn't say, are from Crefective Paper. And I just leave this Ollie clipped to my cleaning tracker and habit tracker there. So when I open up my planner, you know, I can quickly go to this page or the page I need to see on my daily. And then we do need to update the medical section here. This is from Perfective Paper again. This is my color coding system. 
that I have on a cloth and paper post-it note for all of my health stuff. So that is up to date. Um, I don't think I need to mark anything else there. And then it goes right into my custom migraine tracker and all of these colored dots correspond with those colored dots. So this is a look at January and then we are in February here. And I'll go ahead and prep this um, section down here. So the first little category is what level of pain I'm at with my migraines and if I take any medication and if it's on the left or right side. Um, I am tracking the moon cycle. I thought maybe that had something to do with it. So I just wanted to see if there was a correlation. Um, I have not seen a correlation with the moon. Now, the barometric pressure, I have absolutely seen a uh, correlation with, with my headaches and migraines. If there is a big increase or a drop in the barometric pressure, that tends to be a trigger for me. Um, I track my sleep. Um, sl honestly, I think getting too much sleep is a trigger for me more than not enough sleep. Um, I also track my cycle, which 100% um, is a, in correlation to my migraines. I can tell you um, exactly when that's going to happen. And then any notes that I need to mention, um, like I donated blood on the 14th and I didn't know how that would make me feel or dehydrate me or whatever. So I just made a note of that. And then Friday, I was kind of dizzy with some sinus pressure stuff. So I wanted to mark that as well. But now I'm ready to go for the week there. And then that's really all. Um, this back section is just a note, plain line notebook. This one is actually from the Traveler's Company. So it's the one insert in here that's not from perfective paper, but I have all sorts of lists going on there. So that's kind of my weekly plan with me for my traveler's notebook system. And like I said, now that this part is drawn in, I won't take these inserts out. I typically just sit and plan either at my desk at work or in the recliner when I get home. Now, the other thing I wanted to mention is this cover. Um, th these inserts really lay pretty flat. So a lot of people say I could never use a traveler's notebook because um, it doesn't lay open on your desk, but that's not bad in my opinion. So um, yeah, I'll sit down at work and have this out and this comes up just a little bit, but as I move through the month, that happens more, but for right now, it lays pretty open. This is a cover from Vanderspec, and I have all those inserts in that I showed you, but for the most part, I am very happy with how it lays when it's on my desk, pretty much open and ready to use. If you guys have questions about any of the inserts or anything that I missed, please let me know. Um, if you enjoyed this video, I would appreciate a thumbs up. That way I know you want to see more of these types of videos. I appreciate you guys. Have a great day.